Okay, so as you probably already know, video is so powerful. So why would you not want a video on your website or your client's website? So I'm gonna show you how two different ways, both pretty easy, one easier than the other, of how to add video onto your Show It website. So the first way we're gonna do it is actually just add it as a canvas background. So I'm designing this on my Rich Bitch website template, which if you are in need of a website or you want a website template to just make it easier and save a ton of time designing, go to boldexpoho.com and I have nine different templates and three different add-ons, so be sure to check that out if you are in need of a website. So let's just dive in. This is an image here, so the first step I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete that out. So then I just have a white blank canvas background. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna come to canvas background on this right hand side and I'm gonna change the color to video. Now this is why I absolutely love show it. They make it so easy to do this. So I'm gonna choose my video and this is actually just a client's video that I used on her website actually. So. I'm going to change the text out to being white because you always wanna make sure that it's really easy to be seen, especially this welcome statement. So one thing you can do is add um, a fallback image. And what I sometimes do is open up the MP4 video on my desktop and then take a full screenshot of it and then upload that. Normally the fallback image doesn't even show up but sometimes if someone has poor connection, that's what they'll see. So you totally have the option to do that. Then I always change the duration to loop. And then in this circumstance, I probably leave it like this, but you can always change the color here, let's say to black and then darken it a bit, just so that your text even shows up more. So this is definitely the easiest way to add video onto your show it site. And now I'm gonna show you how the second way, and this is also how you'd want to add the video onto your mobile because mobile does not offer you the video, which I'm not really sure why, but definitely, you know, you can always choose to have an image, but I love to have the mobile also have, play a video. So here's a little trick. I'm gonna open up Canva, and I actually have this already in my designs, but what you're gonna wanna do is just create basically um, a size, a <laughs> custom size, to fit whatever canvas you're gonna put this in, and then you'll upload your video right into Canva like this, put it on the page, and you can always play it. See, this is just the video. Super cute. Now, I'm gonna wanna go to downloads and I'm going to choose the page that I wanna download. And I'm changing this from an MP4 to a GIF so that it's a short clip, there's no noise, and it will upload onto mobile. So we'll go ahead and let that download. Okay, so once you have that downloaded, you will want to go to your media library. And I actually had uploaded this just now. So here is the GIF. You'll just wanna drag that GIF right into your folder. You'll want to add that to your page. Now, if you're having this GIF video as a background, you'll definitely wanna drag that under the text and then resize it so that it fits your page, just like that. Now, I'm also going to change this text to be white and match just like this. So because I made the desktop background darker, I can also do it on mobile so that it matches. And what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna change this color to black and then come down here, oops, click the video and then come down here to effects and then just lower the opacity just like that so that it's a little bit darker and then it matches. So if this is just the mobile video and you have the full canvas background on desktop, you are going to want to toggle off the view on um, desktop just like that so that it doesn't show double. So I'll show you kind of what that looked like. 
you'll just toggle that off. And then you have the GIF on mobile and the full canvas background on desktop. So if you've ever seen any videos of my, or websites of mine, I have videos kind of throughout my websites, not just on canvas backgrounds. So let's say I wanted this image to be a video. Now, obviously I don't have the option to make it a canvas background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just going to make that image the GIF and it uploads right onto the page and it also converts right to mobile. Now, it's as easy as that. Obviously, I wouldn't have the same videos on the same page, but those are the two ways to do video. If you've enjoyed this video or learned anything, make sure to subscribe and like and comment anything else that you wanna learn from me about show it or web design or anything branding, cause that's my shit. Okay, much love you guys. Mwah.